Alright, in this one I'm going to be showing you guys how to develop a base play. And again, a base play is a play, it's it's our money play. It's our play that, you know, no matter what the defense is, you know, we love our chances of this play working because this play is designed to be cover two, cover three, man coverage, cover four. So you got to have three or four plays like that that you can rely on over the course of the game to be any type of coverage that your opponent can throw at you. So, um, and this, and this... This is going to show you guys why a lot of the pro players will gravitate towards a trip tight end or a bunch. It's because that the two routes you want to look for when developing a base play are crossing routes, like right this one right here, and corner routes. The reason being is the crossing routes are going to get open versus cover two, cover three, cover four. Again, all you got to do is throw in that throwing the pull route with it again to push back the zones as you can see here again let's run the crossing route first cover two again crossing routes open versus cover two now let's do it versus cover three And as you can see, it's going to get open versus cover three as well. I just got shot out there. But, again, sometimes you got to think backwards as well. Really think, like, what, what's giving you trouble when you're on defense? What's giving you trouble? And from what, what I hear a lot is, a lot of people have trouble defending crossers. And again, this is the reason why. It's because that if you have these four routes on the field, the crosser is going to get open versus every coverage. So again, think about it. If the cross is giving you so much trouble, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta include that in your game. Um, because again, it's gonna put so much stress on the defense, worrying about, worrying about that one route, and then it's gonna open up other parts of your offense because they're gonna have to commit so much to the crossing route. So, or they're gonna have to use the crossing route majority of the play. So again, now let's do a first cover four. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but here, I'll show you guys. Cover four. And again, so open versus cover two, cover three, cover four. And like we talked about in the man beating video, what what is what is good versus man? The crossing routes. <laughs> so also, what was good versus match? Uh, utilizing the, the streak. Or the pull route uh, with the crossing routes or utilizing the streak with the corner routes. So, again, put it all together now. So, if the crossing route is so good versus man, so good versus cover four, you see get open versus cover two, cover three, cover four. So, this is what we want to design our offense around are, are these routes. Is the, uh, the crossing route and the corner route. And I showed you guys, uh, you know, the corner route versus... Uh, Oh, I mean, I showed you guys the crossing route versus every card just now. You know, we can go with the corner route as well. And again, the corner route's a little uh, not as automatic because uh, sometimes we're, we are going to have to check down to our uh, flat route first uh, for some stock coverages because uh, obviously uh, the clock can kind of drop back and play this, you know, if we throw this late. We might be able to get it, but... Uh, yeah, so, and I'll do it versus cover three. And again, this is more, uh, the corner route isn't as great, you know, as, um, as a crossing route, because the crossing route's really going to get, uh, under deep blues and over the top of every zone. But again, it also depends on the formation as well. That's the reason why bunch is the number one formation is because the, the corner routes are really, really effective, um every single year at th there's usually corner routes that get over cover two there's corner routes that get under cover three and cover four like in z spot so that's why you're going to see a lot of pro players in bunch is because they they have the best routes they have the routes that you want to design your base plays around and you want to design your base plays around the routes that beat 
you know, just about every single coverage, every single stock coverage that is. So, um, yeah, and in trips, you know, I guess the one downside is the corner routes aren't as, you know, crazy as in bunch, you know. Um, but they're still going to be, they're still going to be effective, definitely. Um, and here, we can run a hair versus cover three. And again, remember, uh, when I was talking about in the cover three and the cover four video, again, you want to attack these sidelines. And again, the best way to attack the sidelines, uh, you know, to take advantage of the single, of only one sideline defender is these corner outs. So again, that's why, uh, again, we go back to the bunch and the trips. Again, they have the corner routes to both sides, so uh, we can attack the sidelines on both sides of the field, and we have the crossing routes uh, that can get open, that can get uh, under deep blues and over the top of uh, underneath zones like hooks and stuff. So, and again, back we're 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 just putting in this video. We're kind of just putting everything together. Um, and like I said in the cover four video, again, it's going to be really similar to um, how we're attacking cover three because again, most people only have uh, most people only have one um, sideline defender over there. So again, we, we're going to want to abuse the sidelines. And again, I know I was telling you guys was cover two to attack deep. Uh, you know that's the best way. You know. To beat it for a big play but first cover two as well again there's only going to be one sideline defender uh versus cover two as well so we can utilize corner routes to attack the sidelines versus cover two and you know again we want to have that underneath option as well on the sideline so again we're just attacking the 2v1 matchup here so again that is why we want to design our offenses around these corner routes and fly routes it's because they're going to be effective for every single coverage in the game. So we want to look for formations that uh, have these corner routes in these in these crossing routes. And again, if you go through these playbooks, it's it's hard to find those those sharp cutting corner routes that run about 10 to 15 yards. It's hard to find those sharp cutting crossing routes that run about 15 yards, 20 yards. So again, that's why you usually see the meta and competitive Madden coming down to. Uh, trips tight in a bunch again the players want to give their chance themselves the best chance to win and they know that you know the the crossing routes and the corner routes are going to always be in you know a trip tight in and a bunch so again i think uh a solution to that for diversity purposes in mana would be you know having the playbook designer uh you know throwing better routes into other formations so uh, you can kind of see people run other formations uh, but I, again, that's a bit off topic. Topic for another day. But again, quick recap here is, uh, you know, when when developing a base play, you want to look for these crossing routes. You want to look for these corner routes and make sure to utilize the pull routes as well. And again, we go into much greater detail on this in the route combo course.